Someone here to see you, looks like. Hmm. Wonder what about? Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Han. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Don't make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice, as your friend. Just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. 
See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to him. What was it? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard, it's some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. See, I might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. All right. Wait here, then. If they don't let you touch him, don't matter. You looking for, uh, general inspiration or something specific? Cause I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck, no! Said I was done! I was out! Leave me the fuck alone, all of you! Fuck! Hey, Neil! Piss off! Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. We can, actually. And we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. I don't know! You work retail, right? So you should be able to count to two. Two of us, one of you. Tell us what we want to know. You won't need to learn what it feels like not to have the upper hand. At least not the hard way. All right, fine, chill. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. <sighs> My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. You gonna take my car? Sure, thanks.
A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. But you know that already. Must say, you're kinda a natural. So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Hey! Yo, I got an idea. Christine Markov. Okay, you gotta get a life on here. I don't know her. Find something? It's all a shit storm anyway. Okay, you gotta get a life Me? No, she's over there, stall with the thing. Hey! And why Thanks. the hell would I want some intellectual shit like Show that? Show me the range. It's like analysis. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? NCPD. This is Detective Ward. What do you want? Petar Horvath. No, he worked here. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. These speeches? What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had no other connection, those two. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. <sighs> Worked for normals, not so normals. God, maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. So Horvath had a personal beef with Ryan. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Mind if I just nothing, bruise? right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air disp. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claws. V. Fuck off! God damn it, V. Told you I'd handle it. Walking the streets with you? <sighs> Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. Okay. Red Queen's race now. But first, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there.
you going? Finish the job. We won't get another chance. Talk to me. Watch for security. Find the behemoth truck with the Arasaka logo. Hello? You got a visual? Hope you can handle it. Go, go, go! Once you're behind the wheel, we'll jam their cars. Should give you time to roll before they call back up. Remember, the gear comes first. Don't damage it. Don't fuck around. Do use your damn head. Now move. I'll be on the line. the truck. Jacob too. The hell are you walking at? Why the fuck are you still here? Here to help you out. Me? Who gives a shit about me? The gear's there. They blocked the streets by now. Fuck, go! Daniels. You handle it. 
Watch the suits. Fuck the gear. Damaged for sure after all that. Stay on the docks too long. Get your ass over here. We are fucked! Holy shit, your majesty. Talk about a close one. There we are. Mickey, check the gear, dump the truck. Yeah. What about Daniels? He contact you? Yeah, he's alive all right, and pissed. We lost some gear because of that blockade. Couldn't just leave the guy there. Mm, you could have, but you didn't. I get it. Daniels lives, some gear dies, not everyone gets help. Choices, V. Being a little unfair there, Captain. That's life in Santo Domingo. Anyway, relax. Tossing you a real prim whip. Got some bubbly next to it, too. Cheers to you, V. Thanks, El Capitan. Take care. an 8870 in Santo Domingo. Roger. Requesting additional backup. Did Dispatch, do you copy? All units in the area, order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. units, a new disturbance has been reported.
Well, hey. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies? Don't expose your throat? Ha fucking ha. We're short a warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me. doesn't tend to lie. 